Hi guys. Happy Sunday for Satan. I love Sundays. I love Sundays. I love Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and I hate Thursday and Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I love Sunday, sorry. Anyways, um, traditional witchcraft, we're right back into it. So we're going to go into treading the mill. I love this part. So this is really, really, really good for raising energy and blasting it off to what you want. So, alright, treading the mill. I don't know what part this is, like 60 something? We've I've done a lot of parts, a lot of segments. Wow. So, okay. Alright, now treading the mill. So once you have the compass laid, it's time to begin the magical work. But how does one act when in the circle? So in Wicca movement, uh, it's always clockwise around the circle, but in traditional craft, movement can be diesel or widdershins, depending on the right. So also, there's a particular form of movement by which to raise power. This is known as treading the mill. So Robert Cochran discusses uh, treading the mill in his typically riddle riddling style in one of his letters to Joe Wilson. Um, included below is the text. I love his riddles. I love them. They're amazing. Oh. Alright, so this is known as approaching or greeting the altar. There are many altars. Um, one is raised to every aspect you can think upon. But there is only one way to approach an altar or godstone. There is practice. There is a practice in the East known as Kundalini, or shifting the sexual power from its basic source to the spine and then to the mind. So cattle use this principle extensively. As you will note, if you keep silently up, if you creep silently up to a deer or a cow, since there's always one beast that will turn its back to you, and then twist its sick neck until it regards you uh, out of its left or right eye alone. So it is interpreting you by what is laughingly known as psi, psi, power, um, and that is how on an altar is used, which. Uh, with your back to it and head turned right or left uh, regard to the cross of the elements and a tripod that are sacred to the people as the crucifix is, crucifix is to the Christians. A very powerful, very powerful stuff. The, the livestock, the cattle, that, that, that is truly interesting and that's very true too. So alright now here we have Alright, so if this business of cattle and kundalini sound confusing, it's only Cochrane's way of veiling the mysteries. So, I like how he does it. What he is getting at is that you are simply circling the altar of elements and tripod while looking over your shoulder at the altar. So you would look over your right shoulder to the center of the circle if you are moving clockwise, and over your left if you're moving widdershins. So, what this what is this secret cross of the elements and tripod that are sacred to the people of the crucifix is to the Christians? So Cochran appends yeah, appends a diagram of the device at the end of his letter to Wilson, and it is shown below. And it's a very complicated. It's like a very very complicated um, diagram. So I will actually just they will be in the thumbnail for you guys because it's very very. It's different. You can't understand it. It's very... Yeah, that's the diagram, so... I don't know. So it does look rather ceremonial <clears throat> and pretentious, but not at all like shamanic, uh, folkloric, traditional craft. Again, this was Cochrane revealing by concealing. So, read between the lines. See, the item that forms the altar in the center of the circle that is as sacred to the people as the crucifix is to the Christians is the stang. The cross is the base of the symbol for the stang, which would be the plus symbol. Um, and the tripod is the horns of the stang. The three rays of Awen, which is the do, and then you have one line there and one line there. So, kind of like a little pitchfork. It's cute. So, Together they create the glyph that Cochrane signs with his name. So you guys can see here how he signed that. Right there. So that. It's like the witch's foot in a yeah, in a sense. So um, so treading the mill is simply walking around the perimeter of a circle that has a stang raised at its center. 
while looking directly and intensely at a sting. It is the crooked path and the mill can be tread using the lame step. We've already gone over that. Adding honor to tubal cane and special purposes to use uh, to the use of the staff. So the mill can be danced, uh, although moving through the mill grounds oh, it grounds and uh, can feel very much like one is hooked up to an old-fashioned millstone like some beast of burden. Treading the mill sometimes feels very much like walking against a swift current. So, yeah, it does. It can be helpful to sing or chant together in order to keep rhythm. Um, collected below are some mill songs, some of which uh, we have written uh, ourselves, other which are traditional. So here's the, the Mill of Magic. I like this one. So fire flame and fire burn make the mill of magic turn. Work the will for what we tread by the black and white and red. Um, earth without, earth without, and earth within make the mill of magic spin. Work the will for which we tread by the black and red and white. They're black and white and red. Water bubble, water boil, make the magic. Wait, make the mill of magic toil. Work for the will for which we tread by the black and white and red. Um, air breathe and air blow. Make the ma make the mill of magic go. Where we go. Uh, work the will for which we tread by the black and white and red. All right. So yeah, you can tell that that's very not traditional at all. Now here's the power of the elements. So we have power of sky, power of wind, and power of air. The north doth send. Uh, we tread the mill to work our spell by. Oh, both by your breath and by out will. The power of spark and power of fire, power of all of our heart's desire. We tread the mill to work our spell, both by your flame and by out will. So, power of ice and water free and power that hides in depths of sea. We tread the mill to work our spell, both by your wave and by our out will. Power of stone and power of land and power of rich soil in our hands. We tread the mill to work our spell, both by your earth and by out will. Difficult. Some of them are difficult. All right. So here's Lady Weave. So Lady Weave, the witch's fire, round the ring of Sarah's side's spire. Earth and air and fire and water binds us to you. Now we have a Basque uh, a clare chant. So we have this har har um, how hu or hu hu, iman hitan iman hitan, har har hu hu, janakot 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 har 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 hu, uh, wana goril wana goril, um, akria goti akria beti. I don't know what language that is, but it kind of sounds like Latin. I'm not sure. So uh, a very rough trans translation, which is white worm white worm look ancient. Look ancients, look ancients, white worm, white worm, black goat, god, black goat, god, black goat, god, black goat, god, uh, look ancients, look ancients, red lord, red lord, goat above you, goat below. <coughs> I love it. I love it. So, all right, now apparently it was popular with some other um, curvings to dance the, to dance the mill with their uh, back to the stang as shown in the woodcut from uh, 1594 of a Sabbath of Treves. You can see the dancer's red box, so that will also be in the duh, di or the uh, thumbnail for you guys. So um, this Sabbath stang is eluded, eluded by the enthroned goat with a flaming torch on his head, uh, Baphomet. So reminiscent of the stang, Janicot, and Baphomet. There we go. So indeed, I wonder if this was once uh, the only or the way Sabbaths were held with a horned god enthroned overseeing the proceedings in place of the stang. I really like that information. So we have a plethora of uh, photos and just a plethora of really amazing information. So that is treading the mill, and it is so awesome. So awesome. Very simple ways very very simple ways and there's also a book treading the mill that I would definitely pick up you guys will love it
it is one of the best books. One of the best books. Call of the Horn Piper as well. So, alright guys, I hope you have a great Sunday with Satan. So, I love to make a mockery of that, but, alright, I love you all very much. Thank you guys for being amazing people. I love you all so very much, with all my heart, all the way from Venus, all the way back down. And I will see you guys tomorrow. So, yes, everybody have a good day, and I love you all.